welcome to day 10 of our dozen days of December. Today we want to talk about an activity that you can do to get used of your sewing machine or different stitches. And what that is, is practice sheets. Now we have two different types of practice sheets on our website. We have our basic practice sheets. And what you do with these is you print them off and it has different sets of lines on it that you will follow with your sewing machine. So you're not sewing on fabric, you're gonna sew right on the paper. And your goal is to follow the line and stay on the line as best as you can. Now, you have two options. You can, when you're first very starting out, not even put thread into your needle and you can just punch holes along that dotted line, just getting used to feeding the paper through and getting used to the motion and the feel of a sewing machine. And then after you've done that a few times, add your thread in and then actually sew along the designs that you have printed off. Now that set is free on our site. Our second set is our alphabet practice sheets. Now the alphabet practice sheets you can get free as well if you sign up on our website to subscribe to our newsletter. You will get a code and you can use that code to download that set for free. Now our alphabet sheets also have sewing terminology on it that teaches you about some of the common sewing words that you might come across. So. A would have any sewing words that would start with A, and B would have sewing words that start with B, and so forth. With those ones, you'll have a lot more turns and curves that you can practice with, so they're a little more advanced than the first set. So if you're just starting out or you have a brand new sewist, give them the basic sheets first, and then practice with the alphabet sheets. So the practice sheets are fantastic for learning how to line up your needle to the area that you want to sew, feeding something through the sewing machine, and it's also good to practice different stitches. So if it's the first time even using a zigzag stitch or a triple stitch or something like that, it gives you a chance to practice on something cheaper like paper and get that feeling underneath you before using it on a project. Let's take a look at our ambassadors using our practice sheets and then we'll see you again tomorrow with another tool for sewing. I'll show you how to use the Little Sew Studio website's um, alphabet sheets. These are not only helpful for practicing turning and controlling your machine, they're also Helpful for le learning new vocabulary words. For sewing. We're not going to be using any fabric or thread. We're just going to be punching holes in the paper. Pretty simple, right? You're going to be following the dotted lines with your needle. And, and you're just going to be punching. Punch, 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 punch. You get it, right? Let's get Start. Start sewing, and when you get to a corner, like I am, you are going to put the needle down. Lift the foot up. Pivot your paper. Put the foot down. Continue sewing until you get to the next corner. Then you repeat what you started doing before. If you have a letter, like mine, which has kind of an intersection right about there, you need to pick up your foot and move to top, bottom, or middle, well not middle, but top or bottom of that section. Start a sewing. When you get to the corner of this, you do the exact same that you did before. Needle down, foot up, press the foot up, turn the paper, and press back down again. Don't 
don't fret if your sewing machine makes squeaky noises when it's sewing. Like this. But just, it's what it's supposed to do because it's normally not sewing paper. But it's fine if it does because that's what these things are supposed to be for. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and I hope these, this video and those patterns, pieces, were very helpful. An idea that just popped in my head was to sew all of them and write your name with them. You sew all of the letters in your name and put it on the table or something like that. Bye.